Next week, we went right through some uh, upper resistance points for uh, most of the, uh, the, the markets. Uh, the silver uh, actually broke our 1829 uh, limit uh, up to somewhere around 1839, almost 1840. S&P, we topped at 11.92 and almost hit, um, let's see, just about 1,200. Uh, the only one was oil. Uh, oil got stuck somewhere around uh, below $87 uh, and missed a $92 call. But we think that that's going to, to develop here pretty soon, perhaps within the next couple of weeks. Uh, we, we like this week, uh, the 14th, we think that, that might be a, a significant day, up, up move day. We like uh, silver to make uh, continue uh, an upward move. It may retrace just a little bit here, but we think it, it, it's uh, well on its way to $20 uh, by uh, the end of May, beginning of June. S&P, the top looks like around 1208 now. If, if, it's, uh, if it does get up that high, we think that uh, that will be a top for a while, and then, then we'll see a, a, a decent uh, retracement from uh, there. Now, the problem that the markets have been having is one of volume. Uh, there's been very, very light volume, uh, and uh, the markets generally, when they move up like that on such light volume, that means when the heavy volume comes in and we have some s significant uh, downturn, it, it it usually is a significant downturn. So uh, keep that in mind and, and watch out for that because we think that that's, that's exactly what's, uh, what's going to occur here uh, very soon. And uh, now some of you have been saying, you know, hey Bob, you know, why are you uh, taking such an adverse uh, reaction to, to what's going on in the, um, in the markets? You know, the GDP looks good, you know, the imports, the exports, the Price earnings ratios, you know, garbage, garbage, nonsense, you know, self deception. Come on, for God's sake, you're listening to the same moronic thinking that got us where we are right now. Come on, get rid of this. This is these, these people think that the future is tomorrow afternoon. All they can think of is up, 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 up. Life is a bowl of cherries. Well, you know, it, it's cherries have pits, and uh, right now we're we're sucking on the pits, and these guys don't want to let go of it. Um, we can't we can't continue up for a number of different reasons. First of all, oil. We told you numerous times over the past uh, five six months that. What's going to happen is as the American economy recovers, as it has been to some degree, uh, oil prices will rise. Why? Because it's a manipulated, uh, ungoverned uh, uh, entity. Uh, for instance, that ICE, uh, ICE exchange, international exchange. Hey, they make their own rules, they make their own prices, and then the Chicago Mercantile Exchange uh, uh, oil follows it like a uh, like a lost puppy. Come on, um, I mean, who's kidding who here? And, and and that's the way it's going to be. The corporations are are taking over. They're becoming the power centers behind the the scenes, rather than the theological religious um, uh, institutions being the powers behind the scenes, whether you believe that or not. And, and um, you know, more George Saros is coming into effect here. I mean, that, that's, that's principally what's happening. So we're not going to see a very good quality of life simply because we're going to be paying through the nose for all this stuff. Uh, and of course, you know, our government is not doing anything. You know, all kinds of ridiculous excuses as to why we're not um, uh, producing our own oil, which we have plenty of, of course. Uh, the other issue is um, uh, the... Um, Derivatives market. Derivatives market is somewhere between 26 to 40 trillion dollars at least. Again, ungoverned. And uh, when you look at what happened the last time, uh, was because with AIG, uh, with the uh, derivatives market, it was one person, one, with six others, 
eventually joining in, that caused this whole mess that, that practically brought the world to a stop and almost, you know, complete collapse. Now, what do you think about that happening again? You, you don't think that that's going to happen again? <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, no regulations in place, folks, for that market. And what do you think about our leadership? Come on. Let's give them all a rousing uh, smack in the face. I mean, th these these guys are so bad. Uh, and, and, of course, we're... We're the ones who put them there, so we have nobody to blame but ourselves. But I, I, just think about how bad we must be to put such bad people in control. And let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. I was watching the uh, one of the uh, uh, talk shows yesterday, Sunday, and uh, this um, uh, uh, columnist uh, from the uh, New York Times, uh, David Burke, uh, comes on and he's talking about the, the uh, Tea Party movement. And he's talking about how uh, disorganized they are, they don't have uh, leadership in place, and uh, how ineffective they're really going to be, and um, it's not a, a, a viable uh, entity uh, going forward. Uh, David, uh, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, Back in the 18th century, there's a man called Adam Smith who came up with a concept called the Invisible Guiding Hand. And he said that the, the, the economies are regulated by themselves. And the, the reason why he said that, the reason why it worked, and the reason why the Tea Party is working as well as it is, David, is because of a concept called principles, values. The Tea Party has values and virtues and principles which guide it. And whenever you have a, a value or a virtue or a principle of, of, of substance, um, and you focus just on that value, things are self-organized. They happen by themselves because you're following that particular principle. The minute you put a face to it, uh, you've personalized it. Now, fear, ego, ignorance, and self-deception come into play. And uh, as well as the fact that you're only dealing with one or two or three or four faces, and you only get the, the input from those people, okay, and it, it takes on a different type of personality other than what value or virtue are, unless those, those particular faces are absolutely uh, about value or virtue. Okay? David, it doesn't work like that. Wake up and get real. You don't need to have a face to be a leader. Um, you need to have good values and good virtues and good principles, just like the Tea Party people do. And they're doing very well, David. And you're going to see in November and, and more than likely beyond that how well it's, they're, 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 they're doing. Okay? And I suggest that all of us get together and develop these values and virtues and pursue them. The thing is, we've got to get up off our ass. If this country goes down the tubes, it's because there's not enough people that are uh, willing to participate, jump in here, and uh, and do something, anything. Follow, follow, uh, follow these the, the, these principles and virtues that we we, we hold uh, dear to us and that uh, that we've uh, uh, we've seen. Uh, make this country as great as it is, okay? And we're going to try and put together a menu, a format for you very soon that's going to um, that, that's going to show us the way. Looking forward to being back in New York uh, next week, uh, and we will see you all then. Have a great week.